Hey, what's up everybody? We are back. Welcome back to the Robert Cheek Show. It is Monday, June 30th, 2009. Take the glasses off. We'll get you right there. So today we're going to talk a little bit about bodybuilding. So we're, I've got 10 days to another competition. A little flex for you there, a little flex for you there, maybe a little bit from the front. Don't even know if you can see that. Uh, so bodybuilding competition coming up in 10 days. So what is that like? What does that mean for vegan bodybuilding? Well, actually, truth be told, I've been on a pre-contest diet since January, and today's June 30th, like I said. Uh, did I say Monday? Man, I think it's Tuesday. Uh, it is Tuesday. Why do I keep doing this with the date? Sorry, it's Tuesday, uh, uh, Tuesday, June 30th. So anyway, uh, it's half the year. Half the year I've been on this diet. Uh, maybe. That's part of the reason I can't remember the date. I'm on a low carbohydrate diet right now. So my diet actually changed pretty dramatically just last week. So in general, for the past six months, I've been eating pretty cleanly. You know, uh, mostly plant-based whole foods, try to cut down on processed foods. Uh, you know, all the tortilla, bread stuff, uh, junk foods, chips, candies, etc. So cutting that stuff out, but, uh, but even lately, as I get closer to competition, just a couple weeks out, I dramatically cut back on carbohydrate intake. You know, our main source of energy, which oftentimes does leave us a little more tired, lethargic or whatever, but the idea is that it, it really brings out the best like muscle definition, helps us burn and get rid of body fat. We're not storing body fat and allows us to look a certain way that enables us to achieve what we're trying to on the bodybuilding stage. We want that conditioned look, that really lean look, the uh, the look that shows that we've put in the time, put in the work. You can see the muscle definition, the muscle separation. Uh, it brings out more of the size symmetry. All these different things that are revealed when we do manipulate our nutrient intake. You know, playing around with carbohydrate intake, playing around with protein intake. So right now it's more of a almost all protein type diet, a low carbohydrate diet. Obviously we're still taking in some fats, including essential fats like omega-3, 6, 9, the more we take in those essential fats the actually the easier it is to burn fat so that's that's really nice. So lately you know what have, what have I been doing lately? Well uh, a lot of protein stuff I mean yeah I don't handle a lot of liquids real well anyway you know I have to use the restroom quite a bit just the nature of, of me small bladder whatever you want to call it so last night I had to get up maybe three or four times during the night to uh, use the restroom just because I've been doing the protein drinks, keeping the carbohydrates low, protein drinks high. So it's, it's kind of a strange aspect of bodybuilding. I've been writing a lot about it lately, talking about it, that a bodybuilding lifestyle has a lot of health benefits to it. We tend to focus more on nutrition and exercise and all these other things more than the average person because it doesn't matter as much just to a regular person. But to us, it matters what we're eating, how we're training, how consistent we are with both. But there are also those, you know, temporary unhealthy habits that we do. It's just part of the sport where we do manipulate our sodium intake, our water intake, carbohydrate intake, protein intake for a short period of time, knowing that it's probably not the best decision to make the, the healthiest thing we could be doing, but we do it because that's part of the sport. It's what allows us to look the way we do, which enables to, us to perform a certain way, which then gives us opportunity for outreach, activism, media exposure, uh, personal fulfillment, rewards, success, all that kind of stuff. So, so it's things that we're aware of. You know, Sometimes we cut out water as we get closer to the competition, which I'll be doing uh, as I get closer. And you know, Obviously that's not the, the best thing in the world, but we do it just for a couple days because it gives us that really dry look. You, know, you can really see a lot of muscle in there when we do cut out that, uh, cut down on that water, cut down on that sodium intake because sodium retains water. Just like creatine retains water. Sodium retains water and, and you get that uh, softer look, one that looks like you're retaining water, which you are. So, so anyway, it's been, it's been, uh, to be honest, like kind of a rough six months. I mean, imagine being on a specific diet for six months. But I've competed four times already and I've got two more coming up and that's uh, at least no at least two more maybe three six or seven competitions this year and the most I've ever done is two in one year I think so 
So this is really a big push, you know, and, and I'm doing it for a lot of different reasons. I get a lot of fulfillment out of it, a lot of enjoyment out of it. And because I feel like, at least in some of these com competitions, I've been at my best ever. And I want to keep that going. I just want to keep it going, keep it going, because I don't want to be the guy who used to be a competitive bodybuilder. You know, I already took two years off and jumped back into it this spring. I don't, I don't want to be the guy that you know, was a former competitor or used to be. I'm still in my 20s. You know, I want to keep it going. And the more success I can have lately, which I have, you know, I just won a competition a couple months back and was second in another, third in another, fifth in another. Uh, the more success I have, the more that speaks for veganism, the, the louder it speaks for veganism. And, and the more influence I can have on other people and the, the better photos that I have. And, and a lot of good stuff's coming from it. I mean, Alicia Silverstone, actress, uh, just contacted me recently, wants to use some of my images in a book. Uh, I'm being featured in three or four books right now, as well as some of my own, and a bunch of other magazines, newspapers, whatever. And, and that's fun because it's good outreach, good activism. It's, it's a way to show people another, si another side of vegan lifestyle. So anyway, to be honest, I'm a little bit of rundown right now. That just happens. You know, at first I didn't even want to do the show today. I didn't want to admit that, that I wasn't feeling 100%, but that's the way it goes. I mean, I, I work harder than almost anybody I know, and that happens sometimes. You work every minute of the day, stay up to four in the morning, and you just do your thing day in and day out, and you're around hundreds of people or thousands of people. Occasionally, you're gonna pick something up, and occasionally, you're gonna just need to take a little break. So, you know, it's unfortunate 10 days before big competition, in fact, the biggest competition I've ever done, is coming up in 10 days, and I'm still recovering from not being quite at 100% the last 48 hours, but, you know, uh, adversity and obstacles build a character and that I've seen that happen throughout my life over and over and over. So I'm still moving forward, full speed ahead. Got the Robert Cheek show on again today, even if I can't get the calendar day right. Uh, that's just a testament to being super busy all the time and uh, doesn't really matter what day it is to me. It just, uh, every day is just another day to be as productive as possible. And uh, anyway, I should get back to it i got a lot of stuff to do today, but uh, soon we'll have an opportunity to email questions. In fact, I've already had a few through Facebook, and please feel free to join me on Facebook, Robert Cheek, and I'll start addressing questions. But today, because I wasn't quite 100%, I just wanted to talk about bodybuilding and, and where I'm at 10 days before the competition, low carbohydrate, high protein diet right now, and uh, I'm going to go off and get right back to work and uh, hopefully get right back in the gym and get back to catching up on emails and everything else. So if I didn't get back to you right away, please be patient. I will return your email very, very soon. So thank you for watching the Robert Cheek Show where we turn the other cheek. Another topic tomorrow, so thanks for sticking with us and have an outstanding day. See ya.